A Macon County man made quite a find while clearing out some old family property. Turns out it's all about a cemetery and a story that's 200 years old. Here's WSFA 12 News anchor Judd Davey. Judd Davis with this week's County Road 12 report. We've been working on this since 2019. Willie Boyd was born and raised in Tuskegee. After a long career in the military, he spent some time in Georgia. Then, four years ago, he came home. This is Cotton Valley, and it's called Cotton Valley because this is where it was cleared off and they raised cotton. This land has been in the family since 1833. It was originally owned by a plantation owner, James Boyd. As Willie started clearing off the property near the family cemetery, he made quite a find. It was called Boyd Quarter Cemetery, but it was Pine Grove cemetery in 1843. There are headstones all around this empty field. He just felt something had to be out in the middle. So he called a company that specializes in locating burial sites. He found 486 on Ma Grave. Each one is now marked with a silver metal circle driven into the ground. He also has a map to show just how many people are buried here. He's not sure who's out here, but wants to make sure this space is protected. When a cemetery is in place, no matter who owns it, you can't just roll over and destroy it. You gotta, gotta respect it. And we wanna make sure that it's of a, a status, that if someone wants to come and get a, a history that, hey, this is Cotton Valley. They raised all kind of cotton, but there was a few significant folks that was here. Most of the Boyd headstones are right up front. He'd love to see an historical marker here one day so others can learn about this land filled with history. This is a community that you can take a moment to travel back in time and say, hey, I was there. You know, it's not just reading a book, but to walk here and see it with that little marker there that laid out. For now, he keeps it looking nice himself, but he'd love to get some help down the road in Tuskegee at along County Road 12. If you'd like to help with upkeep of that cemetery or make a donation, we've got Mr. Boyd's contact information inside the County Road 12 story online. Just go to WSFA.com.